It's time to tackle the world of Axie once again, because we just can't get enough of it, and you too. We've discussed how you can make money on Axie and the basics. We've also made videos on certain Axie tips you can use, as well as a list of breeding tips to help you make the ideal Axie. This time, the Game Mag is going to present the list of tips that you can use when you want to win a lot of your PvP matches. These tips are under the assumption that you already have a team of Axies to compete in the arena. Let's not delay it with the Game Mag's Axie Infinity Arena Battle Guide. Patent pending. Not really, we're not legal experts. Let's get into the video. Number 1. Axie Class Advantages The PvP mechanics of Axie is your typical turn-based combat. Think of it like Pokemon, but each team has three axes to use. When you have that in mind, each axe has its specific typing like how there are fire, water, grass-type Pokemon, and more. In the realm of Axie, the classes are Aqua, Beast, Bird, Bug, Dawn, Dusk, Mecha, Plant, and Reptile. Depending on the typing, they can deal more damage to certain classes. To give you an idea of the typing advantages, Beast, Bug, and Mech deal more damage to Dusk, Plant, and Reptile. Then Dusk, Plant, and Reptiles deal more damage to Aqua, Bird, and Dawn. Finally, Aqua, Bird, and Dawn deal more damage to Beast, Bug, and Mech. The chart just goes full circle, and considering that you now have an idea what the advantages and disadvantages are, learning more about the classes in detail is next. Number 2. Axie Classes in Detail and Stats just knowing the class matching isn't enough, knowing in detail how each class is very important for the later tips. We have the six main classes, and we'll start with the Aquatic, which grants a large bonus to speed and a small bonus to HP. Beast, which grants a large bonus to morale and a small bonus to speed. Bird grants a large bonus to speed and a small bonus to morale, and Bug grants a large bonus to morale and a small bonus to HP. We have Plant, that grants a large bonus to HP and a small bonus to morale. Finally, there's Reptile, that grants a large bonus to HP and a small bonus to speed. The other three classes are only obtained through breeding. Basically, Dawn, Dusk, and Mech as of now have no stat boosts or have anything to make them distinct from the other classes. Players don't primarily use them unless they have good stats. This is just a reminder for the stats in the game which are HP for the Axie's life, Speed determines which Axie moves first or the turn order, Skill which adds bonus damage to combos, and Morale which increases critical hits and the chance to enter last stand. Number 3. Forming Your Axie Team Now that you have an idea of the Axie classes, stats, and other basic information, let's now get into the actual combat. Prior to doing the arena, you have to form your Axie team. There are people that are fortunate enough to have a good amount of Axies to make good teams. The concept is that an Axie with the highest HP should be put in the front row. They're the tanks of the team, hence they'll get pretty much the brunt of the attacks. Plant Axies are usually the forefront for tank rolls, and they're usually at the front. The ones in the back row are the Axies that can deal tremendous damage, although having the least amount of HP. The ones in the middle are those that have a good balance of HP and attack, as well as the other stats. Players that aren't so fortunate to own multiple axes will just have to adjust their formation based on the stats that they have. It doesn't have to be a plant axie, but any available axie that you have that has good HP can be in the front. It still boils down to what axes you have available, as well as the stats that they have. To summarize, big HP axes in the front, big damage axes at the back, and anyone else you got in the middle. Number 4. Peep at your opponent's cards when the battle begins, it is divided into rounds. You have to plan and allocate your moves, and with this, you can take a look at your opponent's Axies cards. If you're quick on your feet, you can come up with a strategy on how you can deal with your opponent. If you see that your opponent has a lot of offensive cards, or those that have high potential to do combos, then you might want to play defensively. Knowing your opponent's cards can allow you to react swiftly. Just be aware that there is a time limit per round, so you can't take your sweet time coming up with strategies. Number 5. Plan Each Round Assuming you can peek at your opponent's cards and moves, you can make your moves effectively. There are other factors in the match that can help you come up with good moves. The turntable that you see in the upper part will tell you which axes will move first. You can see if your axie or opponent's axie will move first. There are some players that will put a full force attack if their axie has the first turn. Doing this gives them the chance to wipe out one enemy axie or not. It's sort of like a gamble, because you don't know what your opponent will do as well. Once again, remember you have a bit of time before the round begins. You don't need to rush things unless the timer goes up. 
You can't change your axes formation and cards once they're already set, so plan ahead. Number 6. Utilize combos and other formulas Using combos is always a good thing, which is where all those previous tips come into play. When you are able to deal with a combo most of the time, this means you can have a high chance of beating and knocking out one enemy axie at a time. Combos can boost damages to certain percentages, but they always deal a lot, especially if you have the right classes. The problem here is that there are other formulas that you may want to take into consideration. You don't need to master all of them, but being able to calculate if your Axie can do a counter, last stand, critical, or dodge an attack is always crucial. It helps you plan your moves per round. It becomes a helpful tool later on when you are able to calculate how these mechanics can work in your favor. Number 7. No need to use all Axies each round You have three Axies to use, but you don't need to use all three of them each round. There are some players that give their tanks a move per round. That's because their attacks are not that high most of the time, so they're basically just meat shields for the enemy player to knock out. This is why some people that have tanks that have a means of regenerating health can be a big bonus since they'll survive longer during the match. There are some matches where it boils down to a last Axie standing, and when that happens, that last Axie can have all the moves. You don't need to fret about not having an Axie use a move, and some players just have one Axie to do all the damage per round. They just hope that the other axes that aren't used will survive the barrage and even enter last stand mode. Number 8. Skip a turn One would think why skipping a turn is a sane decision. I mean, it makes no sense, right? The reason is that cards require energy, and if you run out of energy, you can't do any moves in a round. Skipping a turn allows you to save energy and grants you more the next round. Keep in mind that strong cards require energy, hence there are those that skip around, so that they have the energy to use that card and deal a ton of damage the next round, potentially knocking out one enemy Axie. This is also where the previous tip comes in, where you don't need to use all the Axies each round, because you'll just be spending energy in a meaningless way. In fact, some strategies involve turtling up where they skip around, unless it survives and deals damage the next round. Don't hesitate to skip a turn, and be mindful of your opponent's energy as well. Number 9. Energy Stealing, Buffs, and Debuffs There are cards that steal energy, which is good if you're the one doing it and bad if you're on the receiving end. It pretty much does what you think it does, where enemy cards can steal your energy in a round. There are ways to get through this where you can just use your energy before the enemy steals it. The stats also play a role, since if the Axie stealing the energy isn't the one moving first, then you can use your energy or steal energy if you have those cards, and if your Axie can move first. There are also buffs and debuffs that you need to watch out. The buffs pretty much improve the stats, such as attacks up, morale up, and speed up. There are a couple of debuffs that you need to watch out for that will debilitate your Axie or you can debilitate your opponent. A couple of nasty ones to watch out for are Chill, which doesn't let your Axie go to the last stand, Fear, which makes your Axie not attack, and Poison, which deals damage to your Axie's HP every movement. There are a couple of other debuffs that you need to watch out for, but they can be removed over time or go away on its own. Number 10. Check the PvP Statistics and Meta Axie Infinity is a video game, and like any competitive gaming entity, the meta will change from time to time. The reason for this is so that the game doesn't get boring and players will be forced to adapt. Meta stands for Most Effective Tactics Available. Pretty much all video games do this, and when that's not the case, you should always check what the current meta for Axie is. Plants may be strong now, but next month, aquatic Axies may be better. Adapting to the change is something that you need to consider, and this is also why you don't buy a lot of Axies of the same class right away, just because it's hot right at the moment. That's the other thing that you can do later on, which is to build your team of Axies when you have the money to spend on purchasing or breeding Axies. Finally, check the PvP statistics on Axie.Zone, because they have all the necessary data that you need when it comes to what's going on in the PvP aspect in Axie. The site will allow you to browse which Axie and parts are viable for the current meta. Now that you have an idea with the help of our tips on how to compete in the Axie battle arena, make sure to follow them, execute them properly, and you may win a lot of your matches. That's it for now for the Game Mag. To stay tuned for more gaming videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button.